Tom, we need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom! I'd seen it all play out. Like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Welcome back, Wake. You are awake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he is the clicker. Scratch. The Dark Presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot.
I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence.
the dark place, the dark presence went in me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over and weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was haunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. It turned me into scratch. I had to get to Bright Falls, see this through to the end. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. Inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again. This time, knowing the cost all too well. Expected. Mm -hmm. 
Wake deftly tricks the reader into believing the cult of the tree is the story's antagonist. Conclusion at Deerfest makes return a genre bending mixture of fact and fiction. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around Return, as if it had just been published. on a firm, high-quality, white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Wake set a high standard with his previous novels, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my life for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Wake now he was a victim too. This Saga, is Casey, Alice, not what I expected. Horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. I'm Ilma Koskela and been driving welcome to the Koskela Brothers Book Club. This week we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake. Return. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality white offset. I had to get the last copy of the book. Making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. 
Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Wake set a high standard with his previous novels, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had Wait. been drawn... Because of that, now he was a this to is of the saga. not what I expected. Alice, all this horror Return. originates from me. It's, it's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. Hello. I've driven I'm down this road before. Been driving on it forever. I had to get the last copy of the book. Among the scares, humor glows in Wake's pages. Uh, the cult's symbol and name resulting from a mushroom trip is evidence that Wake is winking at the reader. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. 
I was inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around return, as if it had just been published. Wake definitely tricks the reader into believing the cult of the tree is the story's antagonist. by the absolutely mind-frying Dark Ocean Summoning. I didn't understand what was going on half the time, but I loved every word of it! of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. Sick, sick story. <laughs> room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. Sick, sick story. <laughs> egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading.
I needed to reach the writer's room. Write a new conclusion. Was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche? I would bring his sick fantasy crashing down around him. to find another way inside. that Alice was dead was this a trap or was scratch torturing me He's very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. <gasps> oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. 
That's where the windows were. We'll loop around and come to Ketertom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can keep life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti. chance to get this right. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. Fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. The ending has to fit the genre. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. 
Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker.
What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? Where is everything? Nothing's working. I can't think straight. I can't sense anyone. leave. Why can't I leave? The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Colgen Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? as I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in the dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. <laughs> 